Right. Good evening, guys. So in the previous session, discussed a program to fetch all the words starts with the vowel and ends with the consonant, right? Now we'll see another program in the reverse case. Means uh, starts with the consonant and uh, ends with vowel. Okay. The same string, the same string. We'll see fetching the words starts with the consonant uh, and ends with the vowel. That's what we try now. Okay. Uh, let me comment it. Right. So thirteen. Write a program to fetch all words. All words starts with the consonant and uh, ends with the uh, ends with vowel. Okay, ends with vowel. The given string. Right. Let's take the same string, guys. Same string. And in the same case, we'll split it now. Same process. We split it. Where our space is there. And take new object. Uh, new object, for example, ht or ht1. Anyone, no problem. Right? Now, our ht1 here. What is the result of the split? ht1. Right? Now, our Right, it is the result of the string, result of the, okay, split, result of the split, right? Uh, now, uh, for i in, for i in st1, for i in st1, what is first time i value python, right? Python. Now what I want now, start with consonant, end with vowel, right? So first time i value is, first time i value is python, right? First time I value is Python. Now, so I value is Python. In the I, starting is zero. Starting should be consonant. Okay. And uh, ending, ending means I of minus one. Ending must be vowel, right? Must be vowel. So let me take the vowels here. A, E, I, O, U, right? A, I, O, U. We take the vowels. Under uh, right, so if the starting character must be must be consonant means uh, must not be vowel right. So not in uh, vowels we and uh, ending one must be vowel right. So must be in the vowels. In that case, what I want now, I want uh, fetch those words right. Let me take the one result. Let's take the output in result format. Just format now. Take here, we append this one, right? Result list uh, dot append of what? Appending of this i. Append to the result list, right? After all iterations over, the final result uh, I'm going to print. So result, uh, result uh, list. Yes. So let's observe here. So what is happening now? The starting, uh, the starting, uh, the starting is what here? The starting is okay, upper uh, consonant and ending. Uh, what is ending? Ending is the okay, uh, oil guys, right? Like that, how many words are there here? Only two words, only two words, right? Only two words are there. You can observe here. So, first time I value what? Python. In Python, uh, starting I want the cap uh, consonant, uh, that's fine. Ending is not vowel, right? So Python will not come, right? Uh, next one, what second time I value? Second time I value is. Uh, so starting, uh, I don't want vowel, right? Must be consonant, uh, but here starting vowel is there. So is not will come. Next, uh, simple. So starting uh, is consonant is there, means uh, not vowel. Ending uh, is vowel, right? Ending is the vowel, yes. Simple come in the output. Simple, right? Uh, so first simple came in the result. Next one, uh, next one under, right? Starting uh, must be consonant, uh, not in the vowels, right? But starting vowel is there here, doesn't come. Next one, uh, easy, right? Easy, 
starting must be consonant right so but here oil is there doesn't come next one na language language right uh, starting must be consonant uh, so consonant is there ending must be vowel uh, yes vowel is there so language also will be fetched so finally simple and the language both will append to what here result list uh, and uh, that's what display right simple and the language both will display okay right thanks so much guys bye